Previously on Destination Now. Warning, graphic content. Oh man. I got a boo-boo. It hurts. And now I can't walk straight. Today we're packing up and we're leaving the Lost Coast. We're heading back towards Ukiah to get back to work. Wherever I go, I will always know. Everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. Here's your lunch, baby. Alright. Got some skinless, boneless, smoked sardine fillets. Never had sardines before, but I hear they're really good for you. So we're gonna give them a try. You eat them however you want. I don't know about that. Is that the head on it? They should be headless, boneless, skinless is what you bought. This is delicious. And it's full of omega-3s. It should help my hip heal. It's got a lot of protein in it. I need protein. And it's BPA free. Got like a special lining in there. You're, you're selling it. sardines to people. On Buy some sardines, people. This is this episode has been brought to you by Sardines in the Ocean. Sardines in a can from the ocean. <laughs> In last week's episode, we spent the weekend camping with some friends on the Lost Coast. We decided to spend a few extra days alone to allow Nick's hip to heal before making the difficult trek back out to civilization. This beautiful cove is one of our favorite spots on the California coast, where the forest meets the sea, and if you're lucky enough, you may get to wake up to a herd of elk outside your door. After several days alone in this remote location, we began to run low on water and other supplies, so it was time to see if Nick could muster through the pain and get us safely home. Little did we know what else life had planned for us. The road in and out of this location is by far the most difficult we've driven with the camper. In fact, RVs, trailers, two-wheel drive, low-clearance vehicles are not advised. This narrow, steep, rutted, overgrown road make this drive one we definitely do not recommend, except with the proper vehicle and off-road driving experience. This is a gorgeous drive, however today the fog is rolling in thick. This beautiful overlook has turned into a sea of clouds, masking the vast ocean view we love so much.
just gotta float those gears now. Here's my punch. The truck's getting hot and I don't know why. We pulled over and the temperature continued to increase. Get the engine on. If your engine gets hot, you want to keep the engine running because it's got to pump the coolant through to cool the engine down. If you shut the engine off, then the temperature will continue to rise inside the engine. So ideally, you take the load off the engine, you're not working it hard anymore, and it's just idling. It should cool itself down if everything's working properly, uh, but it continued to rise, and it's pretty dang hot uh, right now. So uh, there's something going on with the coolant system. It could be, uh, it could be the thermostat is stuck. It could be the water pump stopped working. Um, or it could be that we have a bunch of dirt trapped in our uh, radiator. So, I don't really know what it is. But I hope that it figures itself out because we gotta get home. There's always something. There's always something, man. There's always something. You just, you gotta work through it, keep a cool head, Look for solutions. Ever for pressure, um, and it was just spitting a ton of air into this jug, just blowing bubbles. So I'm wondering if there was some air trapped in there still from uh, when we redid the head. I mean, I worked pretty hard to get all the air out of there, but you never know. So maybe, maybe that's what the issue was. Maybe there was an air pocket in just the right place. And so that would keep the thermostat from opening up. You know, uh, we were just on some pretty crazy angles. So it's possible that those angles lodged some bubbles out that were in areas that they were kind of stuck there. It dumped a ton of coolant into the reservoir, the overflow reservoir when I pulled this lever, but it's not doing that anymore. And it's sucking the coolant back in. So that's a good sign. What I'm worried about is if it's the water pump, because it's possible the water pump went bad. It could definitely go bad. Uh, There's an app in Willits. Yeah. Can we make it to Willits? That's, that's an over an hour. <sighs> Cool deck back down pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> she starts. So we're just gonna keep limping it along until we figure something out. Right now we have no cell coverage, there's too much trees overhead to get internet so we're on our own I'm trying not to crack this block so I'm not letting it get too hot before I pull over we made it two miles from my last spot we had like 30 minutes for it to cool down drove two miles and we have 72 to go we got 72 miles more to go it's gonna be a long drive here we go for the second time Got a little extra cool this time. I'm hoping that we make it to the top of this hill before it gets too hot. And then we can coast down into Liggett. Be nice. Let's see how we do. We'll get there one way or another. Just gotta keep going. Never quit. All the way down the hill and actually got cold enough that I think the thermostat shut. Now we're climbing up a hill 
Temperature is rising a little bit. Well, the thermostat just opened up. So the thermostat is operating properly. So that's a good sign. Uh, so it's either a clogged radiator or it's the water pump. Those are the only other two things it could be. Uh, it could be the radiator cap, but I doubt it. I just replaced that like two years ago. So we'll see. But I think we'll make it home. Just gotta take it easy. So she got hot getting to the top of that hill, but now we're going downhill, so hopefully she pulls back down. It'd be really cool if we could make it all the way home. It's more than two miles. Yeah, we made it pretty far. down into the safe zone. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at a downhill drive for at least a while. So we're gonna we're gonna go for it. And if we get to the bottom of the hill and it's not cooled down all the way, then we'll pull over again. Because right now we cannot climb a hill with how hot it is. So I'm pretty sure it's the fan clutch. Uh, water pump appears to be working and the fan clutch is just not engaging. I'm able to stop the fan with my finger while it's hot and that shouldn't be happening. So pretty sure that's what it is. It, things always seem to go out in the worst possible places. <laughs> Oh well, we'll get it, we'll fix it. I can do it, no problem. Oh. My legs are also covered in poison oak. Oh my gosh, I'm having myself a time. If I ain't gonna quit, I'm gonna keep on going, baby. Come on, babe, we got this. Ow! Oh. You and babe are limping along. <laughs> we are. Eight hours later, and we made it home. We had to stop quite a few times for overheating just to let the engine cool down before we continued on our journey. It should have been a two and a half hour drive. It took us almost eight. By the time we got into town, Napa was closed, so we couldn't get the part we needed. So Nick's gonna head out tomorrow on the Vespa and collect what he needs to fix his truck. Good night, guys. I figured out what the issue was with the truck overheating. The fan clutch is no longer engaging. So it's wore out. It's done. Needs a new one. We're gonna put a new one in real quick. Super quick. No big deal. This here is my clutch for my fan, and uh, it's filled with this fluid that reacts to heat. As it gets hotter, the fluid uh, solidifies and it makes the fan spin. And then as it cools down, it allows the fan to free spin, like so. And so they wear out at a certain amount of time, but this one is solid, feel that. Oh yeah, I can't spin that one hardly at all. And this one almost free spins. 
So that's the issue that we were having. Pretty simple fix. And this one should last a long time. Just spin it on, it's that simple. that simple all done five minutes or less remember in your toolbox drawer you can look all you want the one thing you won't find is self-confidence you know why it's because it comes from within you got to remember to tell yourself when you start a project or you're having a hard time just take a deep breath and remind yourself i can do this and then go do it see you next time thanks guys this episode has been brought to you by Sardines in a Can from the Ocean. Interested in joining our travel crew? Head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. All proceeds go towards bringing better content to you. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure.